welcome to this video. So today we are going to be talking skincare um, and now this one is going to be on pricier skincare. So basically I've been testing out the last few months, um, probably the last six months or so, a range of pricier skincare that I probably wouldn't usually go for um, just because there's more affordable alternatives. A lot of these products I got to try out through the Liddy Millen um, Cold Beauty box that she bought out. And um, this was a few months ago now, and yeah, like I've said, I've been using these for a while. They're all pretty much empty, so I can give you an honest, open review. And obviously, as part of that box, they were at a discounted price because you got them a lot of these in with the box, and it had the box had a higher value than what you paid, kind of thing. Um, so yeah, but some of these I did buy on their own and I paid the full price and the box was still quite a high amount um, but for the value and quality of skincare you were getting it was definitely worth it um, so yeah, I'm just going to do a review on basically if I think that it is worth buying pricier skincare with these items so obviously this is just a select few I can't talk for all the pricier skincare items um, but this is just going to be if I think these products are worth the price tag, basically. Um, so we're going to start off with cleanser. Um, now cleanser is something that I think a lot of people worry about spending a lot of money on. Um, purely because obviously you're putting it on and it's going, you're washing it off and it's going straight down the sink. It's not sat on your skin for very long. Um, you're not kind of sitting in it all day. It's not kind of having any effect on your skin apart from cleansing basically and um, so this one was so this one is the Omravishka cleansing foam and um, we've got the box here as well but as you can see this is completely empty I used every last drop out of this um, and the main way I use this product was in the mornings in the shower um, I just popped this on and yeah, just basically lathered it onto my skin um, and then we'll wash it off and I'd use a different one for night time. But I have to say, I was a massive fan of this. I felt like it really, I liked the consistency. It did take a few days for me to get used to it um, because I felt like it was quite clumpy coming out and I'd put it on the skin and just kind of fall off and there wasn't a lot of product left. So you have to kind of lather it slowly. Don't kind of do it when the shower's running and it all runs off. Um, and it creates kind of like a bubbly foam effect. And yeah, I, I'm not usually a massive, massive fan of foam cleansers because I do feel like they can dry out your skin and make it feel that kind of not nice squeaky clean. They can make it feel quite rough sometimes. Um, but I liked that this one was also quite nourishing and it was also gentle on the skin, but not the eyes. So don't get it in your eyes. I thought, oh, maybe it'll take off kind of eye makeup or maybe it'll be good to kind of to cleanse the eyes as well. So I was kind of rubbing it in like I would an oil and then kind of going to my eyes and it stung so bad. Um, so I had to quickly wash it out. So yeah, not really great for the eyes. Also, the smell was really pleasant. It smelled like you were in a spa. Um, yeah, and this one's won a lot of rewards and I rewards awards and I can see why. Um, so the the price of this one was eighteen pounds. Now I feel like that's not too crazy. Like there's a lot of other products on here that are um, that this is actually the cheapest product out of the lot, and um, which I feel like it should be again for a cleanser, and um, especially a foam cleanser. I feel like you. I'm willing to pay more for balms, cleansing balms, but when it comes to foam cleansers, yeah, I don't think they should be that pricey. Um, but yeah, and I feel like if you've got that extra bit of money for the month and you want to treat yourself to a cleanser, it did last a really long time, that is one thing I will say, um, then yeah, go for it. But I do think kind of with, there are other alternatives out there that are a lot more affordable, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, and I just, as I said, I didn't really use it to take my makeup off. So if I'm just using a cleanser in the morning in the shower, don't like it to be too pricey. Um, but yeah, like I said, I don't think this is like a crazy amount at all. Um, so it just kind of depends if you want to go more around the £10 range rather than the £20 range. 
um but yeah i liked it i would buy it again especially with cult beauty sometimes do sales and um discount codes so yeah i would definitely get this again um but i just feel like if you are looking to save money then do it on a cleanser and um, because i would rather spend more on things like moisturizer serums etc so I'm then going to go in with toner now this one is from Indie Lee and it's the COQ10 toner now I so this one is uh, £32 now again toners I don't feel like you need to spend a lot on but this ha does have like the COQ10 formula in it so that's why you're paying more and um, it comes in a lovely glass bottle it's nice and luxurious um but i have to say i think as much as i enjoyed using it i wouldn't repurchase this one and it's not because there was anything wrong with it i just don't feel like it did a lot for my skin now i know people will argue that toners don't necessarily do to have a drastic change anyway but i feel like i personally love using rose water and things like that for my toner um, and I think this will be a really good kind of anti-aging one if you're trying to fight any premature aging or anything like that um, this will probably be a really nice one but as well it's said to put it on a cotton pad um, and I feel like it's soaked into the cotton pad really quickly so then when I was putting it rubbing it onto my skin there wasn't a lot of product and obviously that is very wasteful like if you're spending 32 pounds on a toner then i want to feel it on my skin i don't want it to just saturate into the cotton pad um so yeah i enjoyed using it but i will probably go for a rose water based kind of toner next time like i usually do next up we're going to go into serum um, so this is the Sunday Riley CEO Rapid Flash Brightening Serum. So this one again is completely empty, just as the other two have been. So I have been I used this for a long time um, and used it thoroughly every day for a good few weeks. Now this one I did buy on my own. I bought it in, I think it was when I was in LA from Sephora, I wanted to treat myself. Now this is actually the most expensive. Oh, one of the most expensive second most product from this range um so this is this one is 70 pounds and obviously it is it's not a massive massive bottle so 70 pounds for a serum was a big splurge for me um but like i said i had my eye on it for ages and one of my old all-time favorite skincare ingredients is vitamin c is the main ingredient is vitamin c it has 15 percent advanced vitamin c which obviously is a high amount so i just really wanted to buy it basically um now i really enjoyed using this um i loved the smell it smelled so fresh really pleasant to use in the mornings i felt like it really woke my skin up i did only use this once a day and um, because i felt like i wanted to get the most out of it and twice a day it wasn't going to last very long and um, so yeah i just popped it on under moisturizer and i really really liked it um was it worth 70 pounds maybe not um just because 70 pounds is a lot of money and i feel like my skin didn't drastically change um i feel like obviously 70 pounds you want to see a massive massive or a reasonable change and i feel like it did make my skin look radiant and bright but again it um maybe if i was to go with this in a few years time when i'm trying to fight any premature aging or my skin's looking a bit duller then maybe um i'd see more of a change but i just feel like I would buy it again, even if it was around like the £50 mark, but £70, I feel like it's really hard to justify, um, not just for this, for any skincare product, I feel like £70 is really, really kind of high, um, so yeah, I would definitely buy it again, but I just have to kind of really be careful spending that on it, or even if I was to save for a little while and put a little bit by each month, then obviously it's not as bad but just to do in one splurge like i did last time obviously it's quite a lot but it did work really nicely on my skin i feel like it made my skin look nice and radiant healthy nice under makeup um yeah so i really enjoyed using it and it is a lovely product and then next up we've got eye cream so this is the drunk elephant c tango multivitamin eye cream now this is empty it's gone i accidentally threw it away i forgot that to keep the bottle but i've got the box here 
Um, so I really, when I saw this come out, so this is, uh, so this one's £54, which again, I will pay for a moisturiser, um, but for an eye cream, it's really pricey. Um, I feel like, although I will have to, I will say this lasted ages. Like there was a lot of product in there and it lasted a really long time. Um, but just for an eye cream, again, it is expensive. Um, so I, when I saw this come out, obviously like, I used it pretty much with the CEO serum um, cause to get all that vitamin C in there. Um, and I saw vitamin C and I was like, I need this. I love vitamin C. I can't wait to try it. It's going to really brighten the under eye. And it did brighten my under eye. Um, it did work nicely under makeup. But I didn't find that it nourished very well. I didn't find that my um, under eyes were nourished. Um, I felt like they looked bright and it woke them up, which is great. But I just felt like it dried really quickly. And I used a reasonable amount. And I just feel like... It just kind of went, if that makes sense. Um, and obviously, with an eye cream, you want your under eyes to feel nourished, especially at, um, especially at fifty-four pounds. Um, you want them to feel kind of really hydrated. Now, it does say firm and brighten, and like I said, they were bright and they did feel kind of firm but they felt tight like not really nourished so maybe that is why I mean maybe this isn't really meant to be a nourishing eye cream I mean it does say brightening com combination it has vitamin C and um, it has cucumber extract for firmer stronger looking skin around eye area so it it obviously did that um, it did the job um, it did make them kind of look bright and more kind of tight but I just personally in an eye cream prefer more nourishing again if you're noticing kind of any wrinkles around the eyes or any lines or anything like that then this would be great because it's going to firm them and it's going to brighten them um, but yeah if you are like me and want a bit more of a nourishing eye cream because your under eyes get dry I think that's the thing mine get very dry um, and especially in winter now we're coming up to winter I couldn't have used this because they just wouldn't have been nourished enough um, so yeah if you're looking for nourishment maybe opt for something else um, obviously more affordable but if you're looking for tightening and a powerful kind of brightening tightening effect then this is going to work for you and then I'm going to go in so we've got four products left so we've got two moisturisers and two night treatments so I'm going to go in with moisturisers first so I'm going to go in with one moisturiser that I absolutely fell in love with and literally will buy again tomorrow and then one that I didn't really like and didn't work for me. I'm going to start off with the one that I loved. So this is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Pink Juice Moisturiser. So this one was £36. Now to be honest I think for what this done for my skin and how much I loved it this is really reasonable. I just feel like £36 compared to this other one, how pricey that was, I would literally buy this tomorrow. So first of all, obviously you don't buy skincare for this, but it does always help. And um, the packaging is gorgeous. It's a baby pink and it's glass. And um, yeah, I love the packaging. It looks so nice. Um, and I found I have combination skin and this just worked perfectly. I get an oily kind of T-zone middle on my face and then not, not really dry, I've got a few dry spots in the minute but normal everywhere else and I just love this, now I feel like if you are someone that likes a moisturiser and you like to feel it you like to feel it on your skin and you like a thick layer, you're not really going to like this, um, but if you're like me and especially if you're wearing makeup and you like your skin to feel soft and supple but you don't like to feel the heaviness of a moisturiser then you will love this I feel like I popped it on and instantly my skin felt soothed. That was the main thing. I know it sounds weird, but it's quite a cold moisturiser. So I put it on and I just felt like my redness was calmed down. It felt nice and smooth. And also it did sink into my skin really well. It wasn't sticky to touch and I wasn't putting makeup on and felt like it was clog, clog, clog. Um, yeah, it just, I just feel like as soon as I put it on, it woke my skin up. My skin looked healthy, radiant. And it definitely lives up to its name, Watermelon Glow Pink Juice, because it made my skin glow and it stayed like that for kind of 
a long time that it wasn't just oh you put it on it sinks in and then the glow goes it stayed on really nicely and yeah i just loved using this and i was gutted when it ran out so i will repurchase this at some point and then we're going to go on to this one now this isn't to say i don't like this product i just feel like it didn't work for me i've still got probably about half left um, and it's just because I'm kind of a bit adamant to use it again, but I should because it was very pricey. And this one was £74. Now, this is the Tata Harper um, Illuminating Moisturiser with Diamond Radiance. Now, this is obviously a massive splurge. Um, it's very pricey. And this um, brand in general is pricey. And I'd never tried anything from them before. And I'd heard such great things, so I was really excited to try it. But within days of putting this on, it really, I felt like my skin broke out. And I know that it was this because there was other products I was trying that I have used before. And I, this was kind of the only new thing I introduced. So I knew that it must be down to this. And I gave it a good few tries and every time I came back to it, I just felt like I was breaking out. Now I'm not sure why. I don't know if it was something, an ingredient in there that broke me out. Um, and that just didn't agree with my oilier areas because obviously it is an illuminating moisturiser. So maybe there was just certain areas it didn't agree with. Um, but also the other thing that I really couldn't um, work well with with this product was the smell. Um, it's a really, really strong smell. Now, I can't, I can't explain the smell because um, I've never really smelled it before. But it just, like, even now... I mean, some people will love it because it's it's powerful and it smells quite fresh. But it just it was first thing in the morning I was putting this on. It made me feel a bit sick because it was so strong. Um, but again, it's personal preference. Skincare is a very personal thing. No one has the same skin. Um, no one has the same preferences and likes dislikes. So you might try this and love it. Um, it might not break you out. I feel like there was just an ingredient in here that didn't agree with my skin and maybe it was because it was quite scented maybe it's because the smell maybe there was something in there that made my skin a little bit angry i'm not sure um but i should really finish it because i'm only halfway through um but yeah i wouldn't repurchase really this just because of the smell it was very strong and yeah i just feel like there was something that didn't really agree with my skin which is fine like that's why there's so many options out there because not one option is good for everyone and everyone's different I'm never going to fall in love with every single skincare ingredient that you try um but yeah i'm glad i tried it and i wouldn't rule out trying other products from the range but i think i would just test them first for the smell um and then see um what would work for me and what i could kind of cope with smell wise okay and then lastly we've got two nighttime skincare products now ideally i didn't use these together because they are both strong in their own way so i used one let it kind of run out and now i'm on to the second one so i'll go on to the one that i've used many times before and absolutely love and will buy time and time again and um, so this is the alpha h liquid gold with glycolic acid um now this is kind of going back to the tata harper range because i um reviewed a lot of products from this brand alpha h on my blog a few a good few months ago now and again i use the cleanser the moisturizer the eye cream and they broke me out really really badly my skin was in a really bad way it did not agree with my skin at all but this one product it was just i loved it it worked so well for my skin so just because one product in a range doesn't work for you doesn't mean others won't so don't give up on the range don't give up on the brand just maybe do some testers and see how your skin's working um but yeah this just worked with my skin so beautifully so this is obviously main ingredient glycolic acid so you just apply this onto a cotton pad and i use it every other night or i did before it ran out but like i said i would repurchase i use this every other night now if you're new to this and you're new to acid i would say only use this at first maybe two three times a week and then you can gradually go every other night um but yeah i just for i don't put anything on after this if you want a more intense effect just leave this on but if you want it to be a bit more nourished then you can go in with a moisturizer after but i always use just this and make sure you apply an eye cream as well don't get this near the eyes because obviously your skin there is thinner and you don't want this near the eyes um but yeah i just love this i feel like it really stops me getting any breakouts brings my gets rid of any dead skin cells makes my skin look nice and radiant 
and yeah I just love this and £33.50 I really don't think it's bad for this product at all it's like I said it's liquid gold it does live up to its name um it's just really it's really simple and easy to use but it has a massive change on your skin now I'm not using it um as much at the minute obviously I have run out but it's um obviously winter my skin's a little bit drier but when I'm more prone to breakouts I always go to this because it just really keeps them at bay and also keeps any oiliness at bay um so yeah I love this one and then last but not least we have the sleeping night oil the lunar sleeping night oil by sunday riley um and this is what it looks like um so this one is 45 pounds this is the smaller size and then they have a bigger size um so yeah this has this is a retinol product and it's got blue tansy in there um, now this is designed to reduce the appearance of pores and wrinkles while fighting the signs of premature aging and surface redness now the main reason I wanted to try retinol um, I've used the beauty pie retinol and vitamin C moisturizer before and I love it and um, but I just wanted to try something maybe with a bit more powerful um, retinol in there um, now I want to try this for surface redness because I do sometimes get little red areas usually between my eyebrows and maybe down here and i just wanted to see if it would make a difference basically and um, now again this one is the only one that i haven't like obviously finished and i've probably still got about three quarters left now this one i haven't been using it consistently i've kind of used it for two weeks stopped and then gone back for it stopped and again this one has a very very strong smell and when i first put it on i'm like oh i literally can't stand it but give it five minutes and the smell goes and you're fine um so yeah it's just one of those products again i'm i think i'm using a little bit less at the minute because it's winter my skin's feeling a little bit dry in areas so i'm trying not to use too many harsh products on it at the minute um but from what i've used from this so far like i said i haven't used it consistently so i can't really comment on the redness or the massive change um, but I really love, it comes out blue, um, and I really love that it is a um, oil. So I love using oils at night, and I really like that this one is obviously an oil, so you're still feeling nourished, but obviously there's that powerful action happening. Um, so yeah, it is a really great product, and I've heard amazing reviews. I believe it's won loads and loads of awards. And um, yeah, I think I'm just going to wait till my skin kind of stops drying out a little bit and then I'll go um, back to this and use it more consistently so I can comment on it a little bit better. But yeah, I think this is a really nice product to add to your nighttime skincare routine um, and does a bit more than a usual oil would. Okay, so that is the end of this video. Um, I hope that you enjoyed watching and found it helpful when looking at pricier skincare products. Um, like I said, skincare is a very individual thing, so what works for one person might not work for another. Every skin is very unique. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to kind of review this because I feel like um, a lot of the prices can put people off or it just can seem a bit crazy like when you're spending 70 pounds 75 pounds on like a skincare product and um, so yeah i just wanted to kind of comment and see um and say kind of how my skin felt and if i thought they were worth the price tag yeah this video is obviously something a little bit different and i hope that you enjoy watching if you have any questions or anything then please comment below i'd also love if you liked this video if you did and if you also would subscribe to my channel um, and see more from me and i'll also link my instagram and everything down below too with all the products that i've mentioned and yeah i hope you enjoyed watching and i'll see you soon bye